Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a fun makeup tutorial. We're doing this really beautiful olive green smoky look. It's perfect for the fall time since it's already fall. It definitely doesn't feel like fall here in Georgia. Um, but if you like to see how I accomplish this look using the new Natasha mini gold palette, then just please keep on watching. All right, guys, so let's get started on this makeup tutorial. So I did one eye off camera. I'm going to do this eye together. Now I am using the new Natasha Denona mini gold palette. It looks something like this. I will have swatches and kind of my mini review at the end of the tour tutorial. So if you guys want to hear about that, about that, um, just um, follow with me and we'll get to that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and get started on this look. I'm going to go ahead and use the soft ochre MAC paint pot. And we're just gonna use this to prime the lids. And if you see my thumb is messed up, there's a story to that. But anyways, um, go ahead and let's put this over. There we go, see a little up more close. So we're just gonna prime the lid. So you don't have to necessarily use this, but any type of primer, you can use concealer, you can use like actual, like, you know, the potion primer from Urban Decay, P. Louise base, any type of base that's gonna make it nice and sticky and tacky so the eyeshadow can glide over and have some nice pigment. So now that we have that eye nice and primed, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I will show you guys what the palette looks like. So it's it's really cute. I think it's um, a perfect way to try out Natasha Denona palettes because I know they're a really big hefty price. I have two of her like bigger palettes and yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. So here is what the palette looks like. You have five shades. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this first shade right here and it's called Anth Anthea, Anthea, which is the shade right here. It's almost like, I don't know what to call it. Like it's like this taupey, almost has like a green undertone shadow, but it's really, really pretty. Um, you definitely have to build it up. I've noticed that when I was doing it on this eye, I have to really build up that color. So it's like a perfect color for the transition. And I usually use a nice big fluffy um, blending brush and this is the Morphe M532 brush. So we're just gonna go ahead and just start buffing this into the crease. Like I said, it's just like a pretty like taupey, caramely color. It's just a really, really pretty color. So we're gonna go in with this shade right here. It's like this very like chocolatey color. Um, it has like a like a sheen of like it's like this like sheen of like I don't know I don't, I, I don't know why I keep wanting to call um, sparkle sprinkles but just like a sheen of like a little bit of sparkle but we're gonna put that in our outer corner right here and kind of build a little bit into the crease now with this shade right here once you start blending it out the little uh, I keep wanting to call it sprinkles. The sparkles kind of fade away and it gives like this pretty like matte color. So with this color right here, like I said, you do have to build it up to get it to like that nice intensity. I will say that um, I kind of wish this was just a complete matte shade. Um, I think we already have enough of like a, this is like kind of like a pressed glitter, um, but we already have like enough. We have two here. I don't think we really needed a third one, um, but like I said, we're going to use this into the outer crease area. So we're just going to pack this color all the way in. Okay, so once we have that nice and laid down, I know it looks a little bit crazy right now because it's not blended out, but we're going to go back in with our blending brush and then we're just going to like slightly start blending it out. But like I said, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's going to start blending away the sheen off and it's going to make it more matte. We're just gonna keep blending it out. And like I said, we're just gonna blend it up just a little bit to the front so we have a little bit more dimension into the eye. And like I said, um, we're gonna still build it up so I'm gonna do it a couple more times until I get the intensity that I like. So like I said, we're gonna pack it on. I did this about, I think, two or three times on this eye over here to get it nice and deep over here. And if you get too crazy down here, um, you can get like a makeup wipe to wipe it off. That's what I kind of did to get like this sharp line over here. So don't worry if you are a little bit messy with this. It's okay. We can get a makeup wipe and clean it up.
Um, and then if you do feel like you did a little bit too much with that color, you can go back in with our first color, just kind of one dunk and kind of tap it off. And then kind of like bring back that like caramely shade. Like I said, we'll clean this up um, once we're kind of done with everything. Like I said, we're gonna do these two shades next. So I have this, where did it go? It's just like this like generic like flat um, brush. So I'm gonna tap into the green shade. And then we're just basically gonna put this all over, like kind of doing like a half cut crease type of moment but I'm gonna stop like right here and I'm just gonna kind of like lightly feather it out so it's kind of like not this straight line it's just kind of like a feathered out of the two colors and top it off with the yellow shade um I'm using the same brush and I'm just gonna lightly just pack it and then I'm just gonna kind of top it over Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for the top, um, for the eyes. I'm gonna put on some mascara. Um, you can use pretty much any mascara. Um, so the one I'm using is this Well People Mascara. I don't know how I like about this mascara. I feel like it really doesn't do very much for my lashes. So what we're gonna do is to clean up this like outer area. So what I like to do is, I like to get something that has like this flat edge. Be very careful because you don't want to poke your eye out. And what I'll do is, I'll either get like, I know this sounds really weird, but sometimes I'll keep like a used makeup wipe and I'll cut out or like use whatever edge that doesn't have makeup on it. And what I'll do is I'll take it from like the corner of my eye and then I'll just kind of like, I'm not really tugging at my skin, but I'm just like wiping up. So I have this line. So you guys see that line and then the rest of the, that's the, product that's at the bottom I just wipe that away you can see this like really sharp um, look to our makeup look okay so now that we have our eyes done we're gonna go ahead and just finish the face I'm gonna do the face off camera just save those sometimes and then we'll kind of come back to the eyes and finish the lower lash line so let's go ahead and finish the rest of our face. Um, I put some highlighter on. I will show you guys what it is in just a second because um, I want to put some in the inner corner. But let's go ahead and finish the lower lash line. So I'm going to use this Luxie 121 mini tapered brush so it can get really nice in there. Um, so basically, whenever I'm doing the lower lash line, I kind of want to repeat what I've kind of sort of done on the top. But I'm going to go in this shade right here. I'm only going to use this shade and then the green shade. For the lower lash line like so we're gonna just dump the brush and then we're just gonna go into town on this and it's a lot easier to do your lower lash line before you do your mascara um at least for me personally because they're not like the mascara is not on them so you can easily like brush through the lashes and they're not like all crusty and it's just a lot easier to just do so we're gonna take that green shade, pretty olive green shade, and then we're just gonna take it. We're just gonna blow out this olive green color. I will say that the olive green color really gravitated me to this palette, and it just blends so nice. So we're just gonna keep it nice and concentrated onto the outer corner to kind of give it that some depth towards the eye. And then just further out to the front. Okay, so we're gonna put on some highlighter in the inner corner, and I'm using this Wet and Wild. It's like in the, like the loose like highlighter, and it's in the shade I'm so lit. This shade, it's it's really reflective. I'm hoping the camera can really pick it up, but it's very 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 reflective. Um, so I'm using this um, mini rounded Luxie brush. Just I'm just gonna get a very little bit, and we're just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit in the inner corner. Just kind of make it add some like a champagne color to the look so the next step we have is for the lips and this will be the only time that Jeffree Star and Kat Von D come together and 
uh, Unity and all of that. Um, but I'm using Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick and Ludwig, and I'm using Jeffree Star um, lip gloss and Wet Peach. Um, this just is like a really pretty combo, um, and I love this color because it's like like almost like a peachy nude. All right, so we're going ahead and add on the gloss. I'm not gonna put a lot on, just like a tiny bit, kind of like in the center. It has this like pretty like reflex of pink in it. It's just so pretty. Alrighty guys, so that completes this look. What do you guys think? I think it's really perfect for the fall time um, with the nice greens and just a look, a pretty perfect nudie color and a little bit of a gloss. Um, so let's talk about review. So pretty much every shadow in this palette performed great. I will say, like I said earlier, I do wish this shade right here was just like kind of this shade, but just a matte shade um, without the sheen or anything like that. So for the packaging, I mean, it's pretty much on par with the Natasha Denona mini palette. So I will say that with the packaging, um, I'm, I feel like this part right here with the ish, I mean, I think it's cool that you're showing the colors that are in the palette. Um, but for me particularly, like, I think it's a little, it looked a little cheesy and like, I don't know, like, it looks like they just like threw a, made the box together within like this one. It's just like a really like basic, like, I mean, I like this better. I think if maybe if they would have done just a whole matte, um box may i think for me it would look a little bit better but like i said um i love keeping the packaging just to kind of keep it in i know there's just something being super picky about um the only thing that should matter is what they look inside so here's what the swatches look like i know they're a little bit crazy on my arm um but they swatch really beautifully like i said what matters is what they um, perform on the eyes so let's hear from you guys. What do you guys think about the palette? And do you think it's worth the money? Um, have you ever purchased um, Natasha General products? Let me know. Let's talk about it down in the comments. That is going to complete today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye, guys.